Hey folks and welcome back to another What's New in the Den and today we're going to talk about St. James of London uh, Lavender and Geranium and as you know I'm a big fan of the St. James of London creams and it's for any number of reasons and let's just talk about it. For starters it comes in an excellent nice um, elegant box just cardboard box but it's nice nicely labeled just looks good sets the tone I think for a great experience and then comes out, sorry, I just threw that in the floor, an excellent glass jar of creams, got St. James of London on the top, just elegant, um, it's simple, but it's elegant, and I really like that, now one thing I would mention is, you know, when these come in the mail, they get twisted all over the place, so you may have some cream on the top, just set it down, and most of the cream will, um, by virtue of gravity, you know, settle back in the jar, and You'll have some on the lid, and usually that's what I use. I just take the cream right off the lid. Um, but Oh, yeah. This one, um, I think you can smell more geranium than uh, lavender. The lavender sort of in the back of this for me, but I think it's a very nice scent. Great label. Great package. $25. Uh, they sell this at Straight Razor Designs. Sell it at Royal Shaving and, and perhaps some other places, too, but... You know I'm going to lather this up. I'm not going to get some St. Uh, James of London. The cream of the God. And I say that because for 25 bucks, the package, the quality of this cream, I just think it's excellent. Um, you're getting true fit and heel quality for 5 bucks cheaper in a better package. So what can be wrong with that? You know true fit and heel creams are very, very good. So you're getting the same sort of quality here. Better packaging, cheaper. Let's lather it up. Stand by. All right, so we threw a little bit of water in the face there. Let's just put a few dabs of cream. And this, I kind of got spoiled on St. James of London because uh, I used another cream the other day in the same way that I used, used just a little bit of this product, and it didn't lather the same. And and uh, really, it wasn't because that cream wasn't good. It was just because I've been spoiled by this St. James of London cream, which lathers easily. Um, with just a little amount of product. Now, the geranium's really coming out as I lather this. My brush a little dry on me. Get a little, bring a little water to the party here, the lathering party. Yeah, definitely. Still dry. Yeah. Very, very nice. This is a easy, easy lathering cream. Feels good on the face. Uh, as you can see there, just in a very short period of time with minimal effort, you'll get a thick creamy lather. This again is probably a little too thick. There's not enough uh, moisture in this lather, but it's me. Just not putting enough water in my brush. But man, I gotta tell you, you can see that, you know, just from a few dabs of this stuff, it lathers super easily. And I'm gonna show you um, how much lather is still left in the brush and I got a ton of it on my face still so you know as we've talked about before the quality of this stuff is very very good no question about it and that's very thick coming off my face by the way and so here we still have left lots and lots of lather so this is really good stuff again if you're a fan of geranium you might want to check this out um, very very much a solid geranium uh, scent. The scent strength on this is about a six. I would call it six to seven. Uh, medium range. Not jumping out at you, but definitely there, especially when you lather it. So between six and seven, which is good for me. Um, I like them stout, but sometimes they don't need to be ten. You know, example of a ten for me would be like Tobbs, which is, it's just there. It's very in your face. Uh, this is six, seven-ish. Very, very good, but look at that. Great lather mittens, great stuff. Cream of the gods, St. James of London. Pick your flavor, whether it's um, sandalwood and bergamot, and limes and black pepper, mandarin and patchouli. I'm leaving one out that I forgot about. I think it's cedarwood and clary sage or something like that. I could be wrong, don't hold me to that. Pick it and go with it. Great stuff. You guys have a great day.